All right, guys, so this will be the final framing walkthrough. If you've already seen enough of the house, I'm sorry. Um, I do have people who are interested in watching updates on the progress. Uh, so we're gonna go through, framing is complete, and just, uh, yeah. We're really happy with it. We're happy with how it's turned out, and uh, so you like it too. Okay, so you can see the stairs, they've walled it here. So we'll have a rail coming down, which actually makes this whole foyer area feel larger and not so boxed in. We also decided to raise this ceiling up. So it's probably 11 foot maybe because that's hey babe what do you think the foyer roof is at or ceiling no because it looks taller than a ruler it doesn't look like it's at 10 foot do you think yeah he says probably close to 11. so that is open um and we did not bring this wall out where we did leave this area here which we're good with coming in to of course the office all of this is still the same office area to the what will be the kitchen um, they did get the window in the kitchen lowered. We had to lower the header, which, which made the whole windowsill itself come down lower, um, which is a lot nicer, which is, puts it, puts it where I wanted it. Pantry. Now it's framed up for a pocket door, but we're not going to do that. Um, we're going to go ahead and finish framing it out and put in a regular pantry door there. The plywood here is because that's a sheer wall um, because of the way the laundry room is. So here we have, uh, this is the laundry room, this will be the powder room. This is a pocket door. That is the only way that they could do that so it will just have a toilet and a vanity and then we'll leave the laundry room section open with the garage um, here are the stairs going up they did finish framing it out with the wall. And it does make a nice room. Now, I've had questions about square footage and does this count towards square footage? Well, it's a yes and no question because no, it doesn't count right now. Right now it's just really attic space, but eventually we do have um, the option to we could put AC in here and then it would have central um, We could run it to where it has central heat and air therefore it would be Considered part of the square footage. So I guess you could call it kind of like a bonus room, but it's just not going to be finished It's going to remain like this for quite some time but it does have plenty of room to where we could even put a bathroom here if we wanted to or the or you know wherever but it's a nice space like it's it's a nice big space what are you doing huh 
Come on. Come on. Are you going to turn around on the steps? Okay, mountain dog. Go down. All right, so we'll go down the steps. Ooh, it is much cooler downstairs. Okay. From the kitchen, this is where the island would be. So you have the uh, dining room area here, back door to Steve's porch. Here's the fireplace, and this would be the living room. Off of the living room is the door to our bedroom. Well, there's a under the stairs closet, then the door to our bedroom. So that would be our room here. Bay window. And then into the bathroom. This will be walled up and the closet entrance will be on that side because it's just an extra space that we were closing in because we put a bathtub in here. This will be the bathtub area. We got my window installed. Um, originally, this was a long, you can see it, it was just a long rectangle window up there because this was originally the his closet. That's why this got boxed in because that's extra space that was supposed to be part of the his closet. But we just made it one walk-in closet. So the walk-in closet is here. And then we have the shower here, the vanity, double vanity will go here, and then this will be um, the bathroom, uh, toilet room. Okay. We do have nine foot ceilings downstairs, except in that foyer way, which is closer to 11. Here's the back porch. Please excuse the overgrown grass. We've just been cleaning up the wood and everything from the framers finishing up, so nothing's changed. We still have a little bit of mess to clean up. The big change is upstairs, so let's go ahead and go upstairs. See her bathtub is up here. All right, so we'll go ahead and swing to this room first. So we we're thinking Jonah's room. Um, we haven't figured out the configuration of the closets yet, so those have not really been marked out. But we did change it somewhat because we wanted to leave those dormers open for two windows in the bedroom. Here is their space for a bathroom. It's a, it's a pretty good size bathroom. And then pretty much an identical space over here. Two windows. Oops, sorry. And we still have to figure that out. So, here, um, didn't get framed up. It's meant to have a little mini fridge and countertop for a sink, but we have decided we're gonna make it laundry room for the kids with stackable washer and dryer 
and then um, a small linen closet or something. So that will be in front of the bathroom in that little jog out. And then on to her room. One of the main things that she did request was her own bathroom, and I don't blame her. Sharing with two teenage boys is no, not fun. Um, so she will have this long wall here, and this here is just open right now. But she'll have that long wall. This is her bathroom door. And then we brought her bathtub up, which they framed this little area up to it since it was here. Um, and we're thinking about leaving this front open for soap storage or towels or something like that. So then possibly the toilet here and the vanity here. That's how it is on the plans, but there's a truss right where the toilet um, drain would sit. So that might have to be moved to this wall over here because you have to go up through the trusses so we have to talk to the plumbers about how to configure that drain and then we have to figure out her closet area um, we were thinking about just building it under here in this space so that it's not so huge and then she gets this nice big space for her bedroom And she's got a really nice view. So that's it. That's all of the rooms framed up. Um, there's nothing else besides closets that we will figure out later that have to be framed. So that's it. That's that's the real big changes. I just, I really love seeing that right there. That bathtub in there really makes it to start to feel um, like we're getting the rooms to come together. So, um, yeah, that's it for this video. Like I said, I just wanted to give everybody an update on the final framing. And um, probably won't do another house update for a little bit until there's you know something more exciting going on which will probably be drywall. all right thanks for hanging out with me guys bye what are you doing i'm coming down come on let's go downstairs come on